Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of our Road to Cricket Glory career mode on Cricket Captain 2020 with New Zealand. Where today we are in the important times of this career mode, I have to say, we are firstly, this is our first game in the 2021 season, which is great to see. Our second season of the career mode thus far. And we are heading into the big World Cup in India next month, which I guess these are the tables all lined up here and the Super 12s. We are currently grouped with India, Australia, West Indies, and one other. So that already screams we're in big trouble. Nonetheless, we will see how we go. We are looking to build towards that tournament by going over to Pakistan, or I think this is actually over in the UAE, this series. So we're going to try and build some momentum going into the tournament. We've already made an interesting call. We've bought in Colin Munro to open the batting. He's played CPL this season. He's done okay. Got a big 100. Struck at 190, which was actually crazy. So I felt, you know what? Let's see if he's going to make an impact probably in his one and only game here. Conway's definitely making the tournament, so that's no problem. McConkie has sat the squad out, is the only difference from any other sort of squad that we've produced. Otherwise, Kane, Roscoe, Phillips, Guptal, kind of honestly, it's pretty standard stuff. We are just looking to try and build in with some momentum. I, d I mean, I hope this is the team, but already looking at the ratings, I'm like worried. Like, why are we not higher up? But our bowling is really where our team gets carried. We have four bowlers under the average of 20 in the T20 international format, which is just unprecedented, really. It is truly remarkable how good our bowling is. So if our batting can fire even somewhat in this T20 World Cup, we should be all right. We should be okay. The real question is, can that happen? Glenn Phillips, the good news, at the end of each season, the form resets, and oh boy, has he had a year so far. Striking at 166.9, Averaging 45.44, he is playing in the CPL, and he's smoking it. So that's great news for us. Fantastic stuff. We're very excited, and hopefully that can convert here to this sort of T20 World Cup, as mentioned before. Kane's only just come back from injury. I am kind of risking him a bit to play this game. And in fact, part of me actually says, let's not do that. Let's actually just let... Uh, Dev bat at three, and let's give the captaincy to Roscoe for a game. Let's ease Kane back in. We don't want him injured for this T20 World Cup. It would be an absolute disaster for him to go out. So let's just give him one game off. I think that's the plan here. It is, we don't have to win the series. It's just, again, about kind of building some momentum as a team in terms of individual performances. There's no pressure to win the series, although we would love to win the series, that's for sure. How will Conway go at three? We'll have to wait and see. Let's play. Yeah, Kane being out is obviously a big out, but again, that's fine. We had to rest him. No problems with that whatsoever. Okay, up against Pakistan. Baba Azam is as good as he was, or as he is currently in real life. Oh, goodness. And their bowling is much better. Shinwari is a real powerhouse bowler. As a Malvin, Rene Malvin Renegades fan, I know that for sure. Rizwan only averaging 19.97, so not as good in this game. We've lost the toss and been put into bat. Let's see how we go. They only have the five bowling options as well, so if we can put pressure on them, it could be interesting. But Shinwari, I think, is one of the best T20 bowlers in the world in this game for us. Cut away fine by Munro. He gets away with a boundary. Muhammad Amir. We've got the two left armors. Honestly... For Manas there. How is that? Oh my goodness me. Outside the line. Okay. Oh, there it is. Full toss. Six. Beautiful shot. That will go all the way. First six of the series. Again, I don't know how it's not out. I think it's missing off again, is it? Struck outside the line. Yes, just swinging away. Okay, never mind. Made it look better than perhaps it was there. Good over there. Another good over. Muhammad Abbas. So I think this is the medium bowler, but he's a medium fast or fast medium in this game. Interesting. He's doing very well, mind you. 26 for none. Nice. Down the ground. On drive. Beats mid on for four. We start the other. Ooh, swing and a miss. Nice drive. There we go. Good connection there from Munro. Five down. 
35. Without loss. That's all the way from Guppy. Off the back foot. Smash down the ground. And that will be six as well. So 48 for none after the power play. Pretty much a perfect power play without losing a wicket. From these two. Guppy under run a ball right now. But we'll look to push on here. Down the ground for four. And edge away. It will just get the one. I mean, we can go aggressive here with 60 for none. And <laughs> that's cricket for you. That's plum. Yeah. Guppy's gone for 24 of 25. Not great, I have to say. Conway to the crease. He's kind of got to get a move on pretty quick. Shot from Munro off the back foot. That will be four. Not doing his chances any harm right now, Munro. That's for sure. 40 from 28. A pass again. Oh, it's all the way. That's huge. Six runs from Munro. 48 he's on. Conway, two off 11. Shut up, Khan. The leggy. Oh, no run. Wow, he's three from 13, I think. Oh, Munro, that's just perfectly timed. Flicked away. We'll bring up a 50 on his comeback game. Well, well, well. This makes it interesting. Outside the line, don't worry about it. Off the back foot, that'll be four more. He looks the part, Munro, I can't lie about it. Might end up being our backup batter in this World Cup squad at the last moment. That's pretty crazy stuff. We have eight overs to go. Conway's really got to hit out here. Munro honestly doesn't have to change too much because he's hitting them pretty good here, that's four. Oh, and he gets cleaned up though, that comes back nicely. Pakistan's bowling actually looks pretty good, I have to say. It's keeping us kind of restricted a bit here. We're going to bring Phillips to the crease, I feel. Get him in. Nice and early. Pulled away. That will be four. Good start. Very good start for GP there. 95 for two. Got seven overs left. Lots of wickets, but we want to kind of kick on with the start. Great shot from Dev. Ooh. And it'll just be one into the offside there. Brings up the 100. Nice drive. That's beautifully played. Beautifully played. On the full. That's going to be a four. Shinwari again here. I mean, how many wickets has he taken? 70 at 17. It's just... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Six overs to go. New Zealand. Lots to do here. Conway's gone. Nine off 18. Pretty struggling knock that one. Going to bring Roscoe to the crease because he can get a move on pretty quick. Nice shot from Phillips off the back foot. Through the offside. Three extra cover for four. And up and over. This is six, I think. Yes, it is. Uses the pace. Somehow he absolutely times it. That's beautiful. That is a good over. We're at the death now, so we can really attack. I love how they've got slips in at the death. Gutsy stuff. Down the ground. That's going to be four, I think. Yes, it will just about skip away. Ooh, no run. We really need to go for it now. We've got three overs left. We've set a good platform, but we're not going to get all the runs if we're not going to go for it. That's a good shot, though. Huge from Phillips. Great, great shot. Off the back foot. Prefers the back foot, you have to say. And again here. One bounce four. Single. 139, good to make 160 plus, at least. Oh, yes, off the back foot again. Four more. This has been a good over, two balls left. Oh, swing and a miss, just the single to end. Still got two. Edge to no run, that's a great over from Amir there. Looks like Shinwari's going to finish off, but that's gone for six. Uppercut from Phillips, finds the gap. Finds the ropes, swing and a miss. In the year, taken. Gets Glean Phillips on strike. Jimmy Neesham as well. And just a couple of singles, 157 for four. So we've, we're pretty poor, I guess, between Conway and Taylor there, and even Guppy. But Munro Phillips did very good. So that is good to see. Uh, it looks like there's all sorts of other games going on as well, mind you. So it'll be interesting to see how those play out for our sake, looking around. Trent Bolt to begin to Imamul Haq. 
cut away. That will be four. I think this is a below par total. I have to be honest about it. But our bowling is pretty good. Oh, that's one bounce four. Good timing as well, that one was. Lots of dot balls, which is really good to see, though. Again into the leg side from Baba. That's four. Only dealing in boundaries so far, really. Oh, yes, the swing. Jameson. Oh, he brings that back beautifully. How I miss Kyle Jameson. He's really good, isn't he? Bold him. Imam Hark will have to go for 10. Hyder Alley. Oh, just short. Nearly, nearly. Bolt's going to bowl one more. Oh, on the money, but it's going to be four. Barbara's arm plays that l nicely through the offside. We're going to bring into the power play. Lockie Ferguson for one over. Oh, full toss. That's six. Not a great ball. Has to be said. Oh, this is a run out. Yeah, it is too. Barbara Azam has to go. That is a stitch up from his partner. A barbecue and a half. And that's a massive wicket to end the power play for New Zealand here. Mitchell Satner will come on to bowl to two relatively new batters. Huge, huge moment in this match here. Barbara Azam was the real danger man. Oh, that's huge though from Hyder Alley. Wow. Off the back foot. Smokes it. Oh. Is he actually that good? Averaging 35 striking at 148. So the answer is yes. Very good. Lockie Ferguson. Will he bowl again? I think he will not. I think we're going to get Sodi to bowl one here. See if the spin is conducive on this wicket. 105 needed at 8 and over. So it's really even stuff here. Mitchell Satner again here. Oh. Just beats the keeper. Oh, the throw's gone wayward. Overthrows. 63 for two. Oh, no. Swing and miss. Sodi again. He's going to be a key in the World Cup as well. Being one of the two spinners. Bold. Well, bold. Very good stuff. 67 for two again here. Oh, no slip. No slip in place. Great bowling again. I think Lockie will come back and bowl one now. Just to kind of keep things under control. Oh, that's a beauty. Ish is bowling good as well. We need a couple of wickets though. I feel like they're getting themselves set in. There we go. There we go. Rizwan's gone for 16 off 19. Now that I've looked at his strike rate, I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't have got him out because he was going pretty slow. But I'm always worried about, you know, new players. Oh, no. Hyder Alley then hits that for four, nice and square. He's the real danger threat now. Through his legs. 33 from 24, absolutely he is. We're going to go back to Satna. Although in saying that, I feel like Lockie's fine. Lockie's fine above one more, I think, yep. Got some interesting feels. I'm trying to figure out which one's the best one. I suppose, in a way, that's the best one. Into the leg side. Could be a run out. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Yes, he's gone. Fuck has has got to go for two. Runs himself out. Kushtal Shah to the crease. Haven't seen a whole lot of him. D20 stats are okay. His international stats... Oh, I guess he's really... He's relatively new then to the scene. Good start. To the over, and he's nicked off first ball. Pakistan imploding here. 82 for five. Shut up, Khan to the crease. Team hat trick ball. No, punched away through the covers. That will be four off the back foot. The extra bounce helping him there. Oh, there's a player down there, but he won't get round. It's cut fine for four. Ish is bowling up the spell, but we need the key wicket of Hyder Ali if we're going to win this game. Cut away, and it will reach the rope. Brings up the 100 for Pakistan. Last ball of Ish Sodi spell. And it's six. And it is six runs.
costs in the end. Gonna have to go back to Satna now. Oh, 47 off 29. Then, like, we're just one wicket away, really. Oh, swing and a miss. If we can get Hyder Alley out, it changes everything. And he do! We do! He slowed it up, Mitch Satna. It's a classic dismissal. It really is. Tossed it right up, and it grips and turns, and he's beaten by the lack of pace. Off stump has gone, and he's 47 off 31. Brilliant knock comes to an end. Ahmad butt to the crease. So they need nines per over. So we really just need to keep that run rate climbing here. And oh dear, he's gone for a golden duck. Slides straight on. No problems for the umpire there. Shinwari to the crease. This could be a hat trick for Mitch Satner. No. Oh. No, outside leg. Not a problem. I think we're going to try and end this game now. Finish this game off. Jameson will return for one now. Shut up, Khan. On strike and yep. Wrap it up, boys. The bowling is just superb once again here. Great display. This wicket has actually turned out to be much slower than we anticipated. And our bowling is really, as per usual, coming to the fore. Oh, that's a huge hit, though. Against Jameson, that's six. We're going to bring Nishim on to bowl, because he probably will have to bowl throughout the World Cup at some stage. So I feel like he's got to get some practice in. And he's got to work at first ball. <laughs> that's just beautiful stuff. It really is. Great catch from Phillips. Behind the stumps. Abbas. He would have been plum, I think, but it's a no eat. Would it have been plum? Yes, it would have been. Free hit. Oh, he goes for a big old heave hope. Can he hit the stumps again? No, he gets caught in behind instead. That is that. We win by 33 runs, New Zealand, all without the services of Kane Williamson. Player of the match is Colin Munro. We have some serious questions now. Where do we slot him in our batting unit? We'll have to wait and see. David Warner, player of the match for Australia as they beat Sri Lanka pretty comfortably there. And England get knocked over. Apart from Jason Roy, 91, not out. Couldn't chase 225. So we are 1-0 up against Pakistan. That's a great start to our World Cup build-up. They're playing some one-day stuff. Fair enough. I guess probably should be playing T20s, but never mind. Each to their own. Whatever the teams want. Do we actually get a warm-up game? Oh, man, that would be nice if we got warm-up games for it, the uh, T20 World Cup. I'm not going to lie about it, but anyway. We play on. Next match, Abu Dhabi. And we are going to welcome back Kane Williamson. Oh, he really hasn't got much much better fitness. I thought he would have. Nonetheless, that's okay. We gave him a game off. We will. What's interesting is maybe someone like Ross Taylor is actually struggling now, I think, to make the team all of a sudden. I'm not going to lie about it. Or Jimmy Neesham. Because we might not need Jimmy Neesham's bowling. It's gutsy stuff. We might not need his bowling. We could do that. Munro number four. Like Big Bash style stuff. Roscoe at five. Glenn Phillips at six. I don't know about it though. Great strike rate in T20 Internationals, Colin Munro. I feel like we just can't ignore his performance after that. He's almost slotted himself in this World Cup already. I feel like Conway's the best opening up, so that's why I've tried to push him down a bit. Kane's perfect at three, so I think Munro has to slot in at four, but then where does that leave Ross Taylor? Is he going to work at five? We'll have to wait and see. And is there lack of a, a sixth bowling option going to come in? Hurt us, possibly. But I do have faith in these bowlers, these five bowlers here. I mean, Munro can technically bowl if need be. I mean, maybe it's worth a try here against Pakistan. I mean, there's nothing to lose. Let's see in this next match. We'll see how that plays out for us. Have they made any changes, interestingly enough? Yes. Nazim Shah's come into the mix. So they've actually kind of lost, I guess, they've increased their bowling. 
They've actually got like exactly kind of what we've got. We only have one middle order batter. Everyone else is openers, and Rizwan's the keeper. Phillips is the keeper. One all rounder, four bowlers. Pretty standard stuff. Okay, that should be interesting then. We've won. We have won the toss. I think let's change it up again. Let's chase. And these warm up games, these are technically speaking warm up games. We need to be trying to challenge ourselves across all facets, whether it's batting first and bowling first, etc., etc. All right, here we go. First ball of the second T20 International. That we're swinging a miss. Good start though. Damn, I hate to say it. Barbara Azam loves Trent Bolt. Not seeing Trent Bolt get Barbara Azam out. Swinging down leg. Not a problem. Yeah, not given. On the right line, though, and again, just off the stumps. Beautifully played. Kyle Jamieson to Amamal Hart. Got him out the first game. Oh, it was swinging in, too. That'll be four. Oh, again, he tries it. No, he backs away. That's four more. Bolt, 10 off his first, but comes back well in his second. Oh, swinging a miss. Full toss misses out. Flicked away. Barbara's on. That's four. If we... We have to try and get him out here because we ran him out in the first game. I think that's in the gap too. Oh, no, it's not. Ish Sodi, is it? It is Ish Sodi in the deep. How did he catch up with that one? Look at this go. He's running after it. Oh, he grabs it. I can't believe it. He's... What a catch. What a catch. Unbelievable stuff there. Bolt's going to bowl three in the power play yet again. With Ferguson and the team, it makes the most sense, I feel. Six runs, though, to Hayter Alley. He's just in dynamic form. He's looking really good. That's another beautiful six. Oh, my word. That's three in the over. Wow. Fair play. And Lockie will finish out the power play here. On drive, down the ground from Imamul Hark. That will be four. 50 up. Flicked away. That's four more. 58 for one again. Oh, another four. But that's bad luck. An edge this time. Spin. Going to have to hope the spin plays its part. We've got no Jimmy Neesham today. We'll see if that pays off or not. So far, it looks like we are really missing Jimmy. Not going to lie about it. Flicked away. That's going to be... Oh, misfield again. Satna's not happy about it. Four more. 71 for one. Wobble. That's Wobble. Good stuff. Nice. Good work. Good work from Ish there. He's starting to get some form in this T20 World Cup. He was struggling in the last series that we did play, but he's really finding his feet now. Good to see. Let's hope he keeps it up. Let's see if we can get some wickets too. Down the ground though. I think that's going to be four. Yes, it is. Hey, Dorelli. Really turning it, on, turning it on here for Pakistan right now. Is that out though? Is that just outside the line? No, he's gone. Just skids it on. Struck just in line. And he's gone 40 from 20, which shows you how much he's changed the game here for Pakistan. 94 for two at the halfway mark. Cruising to a big score. Mitch Satna here to Rizwan. Oh, that is the shot of the game. Inside out, full toss, six runs. 100 up. Inside edge, just the one. Is Imamul Hart good in this game? Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Average is 60 in one day internationals. Wow. Ish Sodi again, I think. We're in 10 for 2. Dabbed away. That's going to be 4. I feel like, yeah, Ferguson's got a ball 1 here, I think, in the middle. Just for a bit of a change up, yep. Yeah, there it is. Yes. Sometimes a bowling change is all you need. Gone. Imam al -Hark spears the Yorker in. Does Lockie. Traps him on the pad and he's gone. Zaman to the crease now. He actually loves Ish Sodi's bowling. 
from real life, but not on this occasion. The big googly comes down. He's cleaned up. Beautiful. Absolute ripper. This is. Oh, yes. Outside leg. No chance. Trying to play straight, but it turns past him. Beautiful ball. Ish Sodi. Fantastic work. Down the ground. It's six. Bad luck. The fielder was down there too, but it was just hit so hard. Lockie will bowl again. Satner will bowl his last. 135 for four. All things considered, actually come back quite well here in New Zealand with the ball. Under a lot of pressure at the start of the innings. But Pakistan just keep finding their way to the boundary again here. Jameson will bowl now so he can bowl all his quota of overs. Oh, you get there? Yep. Okay. Fantastic over yet again. We are going to bowl Lockie here, and then Bolt will finish up later on. That's the plan. Yeah, good stuff from Lockie. Edged yet again. Great death bowling so far. Yeah, this is fantastic. Oh, yes. The death bowling is 10 out of 10. This is just dominance from New Zealand. Fantastic bowling yet again. If we're going to win the World Cup, it is absolutely because we can bowl. Our batting, definitely uh, not up there, but our bowling has to be one of the picks of the tournament. That's another catch there. Shut up, Khan, for a golden duck to Guptal. Nazim Shah has been cleaned up. Middle stump. Goes for a cover drive off middle. Not quite where the uh, ball really was imagined for him, I guess. Hat-trick ball for Balti. He's got a hat-trick. Dream Bolt has a hat-trick. A T21 this time. He's got two one-day ones. Hat-trick ball. He's going for a double hat-trick. Not to be a single. What a, what a way to finish. That is death bowling at its best from New Zealand. Fantastic stuff. Wow sensational absolutely brilliant what a comeback i mean i have to say that's that comeback does make it very tempting not to bring nisham to this team we don't really need him We're, our bowling is so high quality when you have bolt with a comeback like that he was absolutely smashed but look at that last over hatrick in there as well fantastic stuff Trent bolt at his best great stuff oh sri lanka still make a big score against australia there Hazelwood getting smashed, and Stark, and Cummins. Jai and Wildermuth bowling the best. Wouldn't have picked that. No spinners from that Australian side, which is a shock to me. I am very shocked by that. Tom Curran. Owen. Chris Owen. Okay. Playing in Mumbai. So our first real regen player in our career mode so far. Hasn't played a whole lot either. But it looks like he's doing pretty good. Yep. Yep, none for 27. Interesting. Got to watch out for that then. Nonetheless, we've got to chase 164 to win this game. Here we go. We're going to start aggressive, actually. I feel like that's the best way to go. Yeah, it's shot down the ground. Beautiful stuff. That's going to be four. Muhammad Amir. Oh, Conway's gone early again. His lack of form is a little bit worrying for us. Clipping the bales. Kane Williamson into the crease early. Uh, I think that's missing. Yeah. Just. Guttles played down the wrong line by quite a distance. In fact, not missing at all. It's outside the line. That's what that is doing. Shot from Kane. On his comeback to injury. Cover drive and he's away for four. 8.3 and over needed. Again, that's missing. Guttle not the best against these lefties. Really struggling. 7 from 12 right now. Oh, an edge. He's really struggling for rhythm. Yep. And he's gone. That's plum. Yep, hitting off stump. Colin Munro to the crease at number 4. New Zealand 20 for 2 inside the power play. Nazim Shah to the crease. Will, it, will he make a big impact to their bowling unit? We'll have to wait and see. That's hit away for 4. Round the wicket. Outside the line. Sorry, actually, outside leg. Nazim Shah, what's his T20 stats like? He's 32 at 7.9, so he's pretty good economy-wise. Munro again, yep. Oh, has he nicked this one? I 
I thought so. No, he hasn't. That's good news. That's even worse news. New Zealand's captain gone. Gone for eight from nine. This is where Ross Taylor has to come into his own now. We need, what, 9.7 per over for the rest of this match. Roscoe pulls that away. That's going to be four. Going to have to use all his experience at this World Cup, you feel. Muhammad Amir is on a spell right now. Oh, yes, Munners. That's a shot. Walked across and slapped it. And now offside. One bounce four. Oh, he skews it. That's just the one. I was going to say, just get through that last ball because it is his spell done. But nonetheless, we've got there. It's okay. 9.8. Shot. Munro's looking the best of our all of our batters at the moment. You have to say that's six more. Shot again. Down the ground. A bass into the attack. 9.6 per over needed. And Munro's got to go. We were really... Roscoe's doing his job at the other end, but Munro getting out is really disappointing here. Gone for 29 off 21. Damn, that was really disappointing. Gleam Phillips to the crease. We need 10 runs per over from the last 10. Oh, no. Sitter of a catch, and he's dropped it on this follow-through of us. Shipped it back. He didn't react in time. And we are 20 runs behind the par at this stage of the game. We need nearly 11 runs per over. Oh, my goodness me. We're trying to block it. Oh, dear. Chasing just might not be it in the UAE. Seriously, it's going so pear-shaped. So pear-shaped. Okay. Well, we need 11 and over now. I don't know how we're going to get this done. They've got slips in and everything. 69 for 5, New Zealand. Cut away from Satna. That will be 4. Can Phillips stand up today? Can someone stand up today? Full toss. That helps. Flicked away with timing. Beats Madon for 4. 9 off the over. So we've actually kind of got the rate. Oh, full toss and swept away. Four more. Okay. All of a sudden, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I think I've said that before. It's beautiful seam movement. Inside the line. Could be a maiden. Will be a maiden. Jeepers. So hit the spin is what you're telling me. 82 for five. Pakistan's seam bowling is trouble. Oh, yes. How has he got that there? It's way outside off. And he's managed to just tip it fine for four. What a spell. Two for six and three overs. Outstanding. Well, we might as well swing for the fences a bit here. Oh, yes. There we go. Got one away off the pads, Phillips. Before. Down the ground, Satna. That's four more. Good shot. Oh, it's in the air. It's over him, though. How's he done that? He's dug that Yorker out for four. I cannot believe it. 58 from 24 required. I mean, we've got to swing with Phillips at this point. Full toss at six. Great way to start the final four. Shimwari. Oh, no run. Oh, beautiful. Backing away. The wrong angle. Still managed to find the fence. And even better. Phillips, you genius. 40 from 24 he's on. 42 from 18. What is that per over? 42 off three. So that's, yeah, that's still a lot. I think satin has got to go as well here at this point. Got to try, right? 42 from 18. Yes. Works it away into the mid-wicket region. That's four. 37 from 16, I think the required rate's at now. Six. This game is back even now. 31 of 15. Back to 12 and over. To a ball. Phillips drives beautifully down the ground to reach 50. 51 of 27. Just his second T20 International 50. And he's paying dividends on the promise that he has shown his whole career. At least in this game, of course, in real life, he's really kicked on. But wow, it's great to see him actually finally kick on in this game. 26 off 12 then. Shinwari will bowl it. We still need 13 and over. That's down leg, unfortunately. Oh, but that's six. That's into the hoardings. That's 20. 
of 10. Oh, yes. 16 from 9. Okay. 15 from 8. 15 from 7. Jameson will have to walk to the crease here. And I think he basically gets a free hit. And he's gone. I mean, he had to try. He had to try. He's got to go. Phillips on strike here. He's got to retain the strike, I feel. To hit 15, he's got to do it all by himself. Let's see what he does first ball, though. 15 from 6. Shot. Beautiful shot. Okay. 11 from 5. Oh, I pushed simulate the whole over. I shouldn't have done that. That's why you go ball by ball. It's 6. It's 6 runs. It's 5. 5 to win, Glenn Phillips. 1-6 away now. But he's gone. Oh, that's why I, sh I, I didn't mean to push simulate the whole over. But, I mean, what an innings. New Zealand were nowhere in this game. Absolutely gone. And Phillips pulls out an absolute blinder of an innings. He shows he can bat at number 6. 72 off 34. 9 boundaries, 4 sixes. Fantastic. Now it's going to come down to Lockie here. Five from three. Can Lockie find the boundary? You better believe he can. That's four down the ground. Lockie Ferguson. No run, though. One to win off the last. Will it be a tie? Will Lockie get it away? He works around the corner, New Zealand. What a comeback win. What a fantastic way to warm up to the towards the World Cup. Fantastic performance. Glenn Phillips, player of the match. Wow. I mean, just unbelievable. That is sensational work. I'm stunned. I truly am. Didn't I thought I could do it, but I didn't think he would. 72 off 34 was by far New Zealand's best batter on the day. And boy, did he carry that. Did he carry that innings? From 5 for 68, we chase 164 down. Wow. Absolute beast. Legend. Everything in between. What a partnership it was, too. Great work from Mitch Satner. 81 for the sixth wicket. Got us right back in the match. We should have been gone in this one. And what a way to come back and win that. Pakistan will be devastated. They really will be. But nonetheless, New Zealand win. Steve Smith, Aaron Finch. They chase again against Bangladesh and win. England beat Bangladesh this time. Just a mere 143 all out. That does help. 2-0. We win the series. Great warm-up for New Zealand. That really is. Okay, for our third match against Pakistan here in this T20 International Series as warm-up to the T20 World Cup, of course, we're going to have Chapman, I think, come in to see if he can replace Ross Taylor, just ready to go. I could technically bring Tim Southey, but I also just have so much faith in our bowling that I'm going to stick and stay. I'm sure Southey will come in and do a good job, but Jameson, Ferguson, and Bolt, I mean, are just un unbelievably good at the moment. So we're going to keep them going. Not change a good thing. Hopefully they can keep their form up and going for this World Cup, which they're doing a pretty good job so far. So fingers crossed they can keep going forwards. Otherwise, Munro, again, number four here. He got 29 in the last game. Not as effective about me in the batting, but I think that will be... His role will be in, in the middle order, I feel, because Conway isn't going to do any better the lower down he goes. And he's got some decent stats above everyone else. Phillips' average goes up to 81.81, so that's good. Currently averaging 115 in the series, with 43 not out and 72. Player of the series so far for New Zealand. We're going to play on, though, yet again. Have they made any changes? Yes, but is back again, okay? Instead of Nazim Shah. See how that plays out. We've lost the toss. We'll bowl first. Okay, fair enough. Here we go. First ball of the last game. Bolt, of course, and coming off a hat trick in the last game. It's going to be flicked away from Barazam for four. As I've said before, he loves. <laughs> Barazam loves Stream Bolt, and a misfield will not help his cause there. Oh, a seven. What, 17 off the first over. Bad luck, really, with that misfield, making it a whole lot worse than it should have been. 
nonetheless. Jameson to Bubba. Down the ground. That's a good shot. Off the back foot for four. Pulled away. And Mumble Hike. These two getting going very early doors here. Putting some pressure on. That is good bowling though. Good comeback. Bolt again. Oh, he shuffles across and finds the gap for four more here. Having a tough time of it at the moment. Bolty. Already conceded like 30 runs, I think, in the power plate. Oh, my word. This could be very flat, though. I don't know. It's 41 from two... Oh, sorry, three overs. Jameson again. Oh, carved away for... What was going to say? For six. Bad luck. Four runs. Oh, yes. Good bowling. Good comeback. Bolty's been carted. So we're going to bring Ferguson into the attack. Oh, wow. Pace on. Immediately whacked. Oh, wow. Again, the sound. 50 up in no time. 60 inside the power play, but he's nicked it. He's gone. That's the big wicket. Ferguson provides it. Phillips with the easy catch. And there we go. The opening breakthrough has been got here. Trent Bolt will come back now that his menace is out. And Bolt's pretty good, all things considered. We get through the power play at last. 67 for one. Pretty tough stuff. But that's how it's going to go sometimes in T20 cricket. Now down to our spinners to get us back in this one. Cut away. That's going to be six, though. From Hayder Alley. Satna will have a bowl here. Guess the good thing about Chapman and the team is he could technically bowl. Not that I want him to bowl, but he could technically bowl. Yeah, there it is. Hayder Alley's gone. Trying to cover drive. It doesn't turn. Gets the big wicket. Mohamed Rizwan to the crease here. Oh, spinning into the stumps, but absolutely carded for six. 91 for two for Pakistan. On a roll. Oh, just beats point there. That will be another boundary. Seven in the over. That's good from Satna, though. That is a good over. 104 for two at the halfway mark. Pakistan cruising to what could be a 200-plus total here. And probably with shots like that, should be. That's going to be six. Satna again. He's bowling pretty good. But it's just such a good wicket. It's 50 for Imamul Haq. Down the ground. Off the back foot, behind points. That's going to be four more. That is so, so good, this wicket. Ferguson's back again all of a sudden. 129, still eight, uh, eight overs left. Bold him, though. Ferguson yet again with the breakthrough. Gets both openers. He's gone for 59, and Mumble Huck. Brings them on to the crease. Bold, bold, bold. I'm going to see how Satna plays for his last over here. Playing a miss. That's good stuff. Bakazaman on strike. Ooh, just sliding on and missing the off stump. That is the end of the over. End of Satna spell. Pretty good stuff. All things considered with the run rate at 9.8. Very tough stuff. I think we just bowl one over of Chapman. Just to have a look-see here. 139 for three. Driven through the offside. That will be four. And he's nine off the over. So I guess it's not too bad. Better than Sodi today. So that is definitely something. Okay, we're going to go back now to Lockie. He's on fire in this game. He's got two for 15. So he's going to bowl again. Yep. Down the ground. Beats mid off though. 150 on the board. Oh my word. Just can't stop them today, Pakistan. Playing all sorts of crazy good shots. Jameson now. It, it just looks like a belter of a wicket, which also doesn't help. Oh my word. Just a dab. Opening the blade. Four runs. That should be gone though. Jameson with his first. Nice. That's hitting league stump, I think. Yes, it is. Gone for 17 or 14. Big wicket. Although I say big wicket. It's the other wicket.
Mohamed Rizwan is now the big wicket. Outside the line, but good dots will take them. Lockie again here. Oh, Rizwan flex it with timing. Wrist work for four. Bold him though, it's a no ball. Free hit coming up. That's just the one, is it? Yes, okay, good comeback then. Oh, down the ground. Just the one, that's 50 for Mohamed Rizwan here. 50 of 33. How many has he made in the T20 format? Only four. So that's an important 50 for his standings for this World Cup. Going in, he'll need some confidence and he's going to get it. We're going to bring Bolt back into the mix. Full toss will not help anybody's cause. That's gone. That one is gone. Bolt him though. Pulls out the knuckleball, and it's absolutely deceived him. 57 off 36. Wild well, bold, Bolty again here. And it's just sliding down. Oh, wow. Times it. Shut up, Khan, for four more. Jameson will finish us off, yep. Been a pretty tough day with the ball. And in the gap, too. That's four more. From Shah this time. It's an edge. It's still going to be four. Shut up, Khan. 202 they make. Yeah, I mean, we deserve to get hit for 200 there because we just were not bowling well. And honestly, we didn't have that much luck, to be fair. Some edges going for four. Does happen. Satna bowled very well. Everyone else really struggled, although Lockie bowled exceptionally well. I feel like Jameson and Bolt were the ones to struggle today, but that's how it goes. Flat wicket, you could see at least from sort of, you know, outside looking in, whether that's true or not, only our batters would be able to tell. Up against number one in the world, Shimwari, outside the leg, and one off the over to start. That will be six, though. Second ball against Muhammad Amir. Guptal goes big. Shimwari again. Oh, lovely. That's walked across and hoiked to the leg side. That will be four. Seven off it. We need nearly 11 already. Guptal. These two have just been weirdly slow in the power play. Like, both of them. I don't know what's going on. It's not great for our World Cup sort of form here. That's a good shot from Conway. That'll be four. Oh, there we go. Bit of timing. Nice. Worked away fine. That'll be four. 11.3 and over needed. Conway again, 10 from 15. Is he trying too hard? I'm not entirely sure. Shot. That will be a nice back foot punch through the covers from Guppy. That will be four. Against a bus. Just edged past the keeper. Nice. That's the over we need. Couple of boundaries, some singles in the middle. Job done. 36 from 25. Power play is done. Conway struggling. I guess the only thing he's keeping us in here is with the platform. But Guttler's gone. Misses a flight to delivery there. Really should have hit it out the park. But I guess that's the whole uh, point behind the flight of deliveries. They seem like you should and then you can't. Kane to the crease. 53 for one. Nice work from Conway. Works that into the league side in the gap. That will be four. 18 from 20. We need 12 and over. Two runs a ball already. Cut away for four, though. Off the free hit. Outside the line, thankfully, for Conway. 12.3 needed. 68 for one, though. Hold him again. Slide it up again, and yet it's worked again. To the crease, Munro will walk. 13s per over needed in the final 10 here. That will be driven. Although, almost off the toe of the bat for four. Oh, Kane, all the way, using the pace. Four, six, beautiful stuff. A mud butt, okay. I didn't realize he was a pace bowler. 13.3 and over. One more over, I feel. Nice drive from Kane, that will be four. Good way to start the over again here. Ooh, nearly six. 
back to back. Already 10 off the over. And he's flat batted that down the ground, Kane. Got it in the gap for four more. Oh, that's even better. Hand on it, but it's still going to be four. Great over. Great striking from Kane, or great timing, if you will. And all of a sudden, we need 100 off eight overs. Nope, swings and misses. Nope, swings and misses. Okay, well, he's going to have to get going, Munro, pretty quick, yep. And he's gone. That was a bizarre animation. Got to go, though. Brings to the crease Chapman. Phillips still in the bank yet, but he's going to need, like, 15 and over, so we'll see how that plays out. That's a good start for Chapman. Oh, no, it was, and then now it's not, so... Yeah, 15's and over now. Playing a miss. And a little tickle. Kane's gone 30 off 19. A good innings from him, but it won't count towards the team right now. Chapman's gone early as well. LBW, that's Plum, four off six. Once again, is down to these two from the last match. And he's gone first ball, Mitch Satin up. He will have no say tonight. Hattrick ball coming up, but he won't be on strike. Glenn Phillips will be, and that over then goes for like no runs, and the game's over. It is officially game over. Oh, shot though. One mouse four. We've been pretty terrible in this last T20 International. Gonna have to work on that. See what we can get, I guess. Down the ground. That will be four to Glenn Phillips. Around the wicket is a weird angle here for Shut Up Khan. Must be said. Worked out there. Just trying to push it across Phillips. No leg side stuff. He's got lucky it's brushed his pad there. Oh, I think this is out, but it's outside the line, I think. How is that struck in line? Oh, that's come back a long way to strike in line. Seven off nine. Sorry, will walk to the crease. Oh, the keeper doesn't flinch, Mohamed Rizwan. Inside edge for four. And he's, okay, flinches to that one. He literally didn't flinch a ball ago. And then he takes a ripper. All right, fair enough. Lockie Ferguson. Hey, six runs to Lockie. Good shot. 63 off the last over. Not going to happen. That's the game. 59 run victory for Pakistan. Terrible performance there from us. Deserve to lose that one. Question marks going into the next games, that's for sure. Munro 10 off 11. Just the opening partnerships just not working. And I have to say, Conway's a part of that. Conway's a major part of that. He's really struggled this series. 11 average 77 strike rate. The strike rate is an absolute killer. Last series against Australia, he was striking at 122. This series, 71. Still win 2-1 as we are going to proceed forwards to the T20 World Cup in two weeks' time here. See all the rest of the games play out. There's not really much more. South Africa beat India twice. We have to decide our World Cup squad. We can see everyone else's World Cup squad, actually. Immediately I click on Australia just to see what they're going to do. No Stoinis. Darcy Short, Kerry. Kerry's an interesting one. Instead of Inglis, I guess? Or Matthew Wade, yeah. Zampa is in the squad. Bizarrely enough, at the moment, it's not playing. He didn't play again, did he? Nope. Bizarre. Jai Richardson, Pfeiffer. Knocks over Sri Lanka. Josh Phillippe did play against Sri Lanka, but then got dropped. In his first bat, he gets 49. I guess he didn't make it. Wow. Oh. Tough stuff. Joe Root still playing for England at the moment. Fair enough he's, if he's going to get 63 or 46. And that's already three players there. Sheen, Owen, and Rigby, who are brand new to this game. 
Interesting. Okay. Very good stuff. I'm, I'm, we're finally reaching a point in this career mode where it's actually unique, which is really exciting to see. Nonetheless, everyone, in our next episode, we will be facing India. I say India. We will be facing whoever is in our pool. Actually, India is in our pool. Who's actually first up for us? It is West Indies in our first game. In the Super 12s, see how that plays out in the T20 World Cup. Coming up, India is our last game, for better or worse. Exciting times. But everyone, if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. Check out the main channel over at James Plays Cricket. Thank you all for the support as per usual. Leave your comments down below what you think our chances are of winning this T20 World Cup with this team at the moment. I feel like our first two games were much better than the last one, and we got severely beaten in the last one. But then again, that's the nature of T20s. You're going to get absolutely hammered some days, and then you're going to come back and win by an absolute mile the next day. That's T20s for you. Exciting times ahead, though, for our second T20 World Cup in this game. Lost to South Africa in the final in the first uh, T20 World Cup of the career. And South Africa looking pretty good, upsetting India at the moment. So two times in a row. Don't write them off just yet. Pretty hard to when they're the reigning champs. But until next week, everyone, take care.